After almost one week of waiting, I finally received my Flare 58 today. Let's unbox it together, and then pull a shot of espresso. I bought it from an EU-based company called The Coffee Miner. The customer service was great. They also sent a small bag of coffee. I'll admit that it's not the most visually appealing package, but hopefully the coffee is good. I was afraid of getting an incompatible plug, but it is not the case. Flair loves foldable instruction manuals. I had a similar flyer when I got Flair Pro 2. I didn't understand this piece at first, but I learned that it's for aligning the valve plunger. Nice gadget. Just like Pro 2, we have a little tamper. It feels surprisingly heavy compared to its size. I'm curious, so I'll compare it with my Norcore tamper. They both have the same radius, but it's half the weight Norcore has. No surprises here. The famous puck screen. I can't wait to use it on my semi-automatic machine as well. The first series of 58 shipped with high flow basket which has flat walls. New series ships with this one which is more tolerant of the grind size. I already have a high flow basket so I'm happy not getting another one. Installing and removing the high flow basket is much easier due to flat walls. We have small damage here but I can live with it. The silicon cap is for preheating the brew chamber on top of your kettle. It's a thing for the non-electric version. We have a spare o-ring for the three-piece lever hook. That's everything in the box. Time to put them together. This is probably the least efficient way of assembling this machine, but I am too lazy to move the camera setup elsewhere. You install the brew chamber onto the brew base using these guiders. This is the three-piece lever hook that comes with the new series. It locks the stem to the valve plunger. After the brew chamber is installed and aligned, we secure it through the bolt here. It is finally home. It's espresso o'clock. There are three heating settings. I choose the highest because my beans are relatively light roasted. One of our favorite coffee roasters in Germany. 
I'll start with 18 grams of coffee. My hand grinder is Easy Press OK Pro. Homemade Weiss Distribution Tool I got this leveler from AliExpress. I'll use the Normcore Tamper because it's easier to get a level tamp. The water flows faster than planned so I'll go for a lungo, 1 to 3 ratio. I should grind finer but not a bad outcome for the first time. I like examining the pucks. They can tell a lot of things about how your extraction went. You can see that it is equally wet and has the same color everywhere. It means a balanced extraction. Be careful though. The puck can be very hot if you don't wait long enough. That's it for today. Thanks for watching.